In this video I'm going to show you how to set up Google Analytics on your website. First thing to do is to come to the Analytics website which is google.com forward slash analytics and then if you don't already have a Google Analytics account you'll need to sign up for one by clicking on the link here that says sign up now and then you sign in with your Google account if you have a Gmail address then you can sign up with that if you don't have a Google account you can create one quite easily by clicking on the link here I have a Gmail account so I'm going to sign in with it and then click on sign in and then click on the button here that says sign up it takes you to this page so what you need to do is import your website's URL the URL of the website that you want to track so I'm just going to put it in here then you need to give it an account name normally it will automatically put over the URL that you want to track but you can change it if you want so let's say I want to drop the www on the uh, account name or just call it another company I can do it just by altering it like that then you need to input your time zone country or territory it defaults the United States because that's where Google is based but I'm based in the UK so I'm going to have the United Kingdom and my time zone is GMT plus one because we're in summertime now for London and then click on continue then they want your first name and last name and then they want your country or territory again I'm going to select United Kingdom and then continue you then need to read and agree to the terms and conditions and when you've done that check the box that says yes and then click on this button here create a new account then it takes you through to this page and this gives you the options as to what you're going to be tracking for most people you're just going to be tracking a single domain although you can have a domain with multiple subdomains or you can check multiple top level domains all under the same account I just want to track a single domain so let's keep that one checked and then you get the code that you need to put into your website which you'll find here in this window you can also track AdWords campaigns if you wish as well let's just take that one as well and what you have to do is highlight this with your mouse right click if you're using a Windows computer and click on copy to save it to your clipboard then you want to open the web page that you're going to track you will want to do this for every page that's going to be on the domain and you want to access the HTML code so you want to open it in a text editor like notepad and then just make a space for it immediately above the end head tag here and then paste that in and there we go and then save it then you'll need to upload it via FTP to your web host if you have a WordPress blog you'll need to install this plugin the Google Analytics for WordPress plugin uh, before you can input the code and so on and the easiest way to find this is to come here to wordpress.org and then do a search for Google Analytics for WordPress and then you need to download this to your hard drive and then upload it to your WordPress blog okay I've uploaded the web page with the code in it to my server so now I'm just going to come back to the analytics page and click here on where it says save and finish and there we go it's now loading it up and you can see here that because it's just newly uploaded uh, they haven't got the tracking set up yet 
it can take a little while for the Google Spider to go to the account and log that it is now being tracked. But when it is, you'll start to get data about where the visitors to your site come from, um, what pages they visit on your site, how long they stay on your site, and a whole lot of very useful information all about your website. And the best thing about Google Analytics is, of course, that it is completely free.